Hi everybody, I hope you'll be okay. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about DOS attack. So what does it mean DOS attack? And how you can actually perform that in Java. So before we get started, I just want to point it out this program and this, this um, educational video is only for the sake of uh, learning and um, allowing you to understand how different hacking attacks work and how you can actually protect yourself against that all right so please do not abuse and exploit this code and do not exploit your knowledge and please use that only for the sake of cyber security all right great so uh what is a dos attack so before actually we start to write the code we need to know the type of attack and how it works and what is the purpose of that right so this attack is used to uh, deny legitimate users uh, legitimate users access basically to to talk to network resources such as websites such as ftp servers database servers email servers etc or making it extremely slow in order to turn them down or basically disable them the network right so dos is the acronym for denial of service so this type of attack is often implemented by hitting a target resource for example uh, web pages on web server or something like that by basically too many by sending too many requests at the same time to that target uh, machine so that this this type of attack usually result in um, uh, in the server failing to respond uh, to all requests right and this uh, actually can end up in uh, crashing or uh, slowing down the server and it would be actually very dangerous attack because this is cutting off many businesses from internet and it can of course lead to significant lose of business or money so that's why it's important you understand this attack properly and then you can offer proper protection mechanism to save yourself and save your business or your clients, all right? So I've already prepared a piece of code, a simple piece of code that performed this attack nicely, right? So in this uh, <clears throat> piece of code that I wrote, uh, we need to define, I actually created a class named attacker and here you can define actually, uh, I've defined a target machine. So I just give my local address, but you can of course change this with any machine, your own machine or anything like that. And then I actually pointed out a resource on that. So we know all websites, they have like index HTML, homepage HTML, search PHP, things like that, you know. And then target that. Then I actually create a loop and I actually created about 10,000, I mean not about exactly 10,000 threads you know, Java threads in order to send a request. And it, in each thread, actually, I try to uh, consume, basically I try to tar uh, execute that target file here is like HD, uh, index HTML uh, in order to actually impose substantial um, CPU drain, CPU process in the target machine to drain basically its CPU power. It drains its memory because it has to load them and it's bandwidth as well. So it has actually multiple uh, impacts on the target machine, right? So as you can see here, uh, <clears throat> I created 10,000, you can change it to 1 million, 10 million, whatsoever, as, as much as you like. This is just for the sake of you know testing and showing how it works. And then I created a thread in order to do not actually, in order to make this thread work properly, not make any potential intervention. I use atomic boolean class. So this class actually allows you to um, prevent, like raise, um, basically, uh, how can I say, a raise issue or um, racing between threads to get the resource. So actually it allows you for, uh, for parallelization, for parallelizations and making your program uh, basically concurrent, right? So that's that's the reason I use atomic boolean. So it allows me to prevent any um, uh, basically any thread race, um, and then um, I uh, pass out target machine address uh, to the URL. And now when we have the URL, we send some parameters 
this is just you know for the sake of that you can actually change based on the target machine you can change the parameter for example to uh, let's say like um, <clears throat> this is very common for example um, ID or news ID things like that or this this actually could be something like that it could be like uh, search PHP just say something like that and here it could be like keyword you can I mean you just try to give you the sense what how we can use that and here you can actually change it with even random numbers you know to make it even more uh, anonymous and more effective so I just give some string and just imagine this is like a search engine or something like that or search news or something like that and then I give these parameters to basically impose substantial you know significant a process to the target machine and drain its CPU power, its you know memory uh, and its resources by the way, right? So and then yeah I do here create the thread and that's it. Yeah and then I run that. And here actually I craft my uh, network or my HTTP request. So I craft that, I create a post uh, <coughs> request, it could be sometimes get so you need to change that then user agent I define Mozilla 5 you can change it with whatever you want you can even change it with random information randomize that and by randomization basically you can even prevent um, firewalls and IDS IP system so you need to take this into account when you work as a cyber <coughs> security uh, consultant or you are doing <coughs> cyber protection so you got to know this data could be all randomized and so you need to think about which type of policy you need to use to prevent that right so you can see everything we can we can actually create all the details here we can change manipulate all the details to perform various attacks and this is a nice things about combining that with programming especially with the powerful language such as java because you are free to do so many things you know and you can actually bypass so many protection default protection ideas why was you know this sort of things because you can do everything by yourself here and this is important to know as a cyber security consultant as a person who wants to provide security because you got to know everything is possible here and how you can actually predict that all right or okay great um so let's actually uh compile the code and see how it works so i build the project and then i go try to find that here run it care and yeah as you can see it works properly you know it's created about yeah from zero to uh, 9999 so about 10 exactly 10,000 threads here so you can actually change the number you can based on that you can change it to 1 million 10 million and whatsoever you have and the, the interesting point is actually your code would be crass platform after you compile that you get a jar file and you can compile that on any a standard operating system so i hope this uh quick tutorial works out for you i hope you get the lesson and i hope you use that in the right way for understanding the attack and providing more security uh, for the people okay great um, thank you very much for watching this video if you like that please uh give it a like um, please uh, subscribe to my channel this is a new channel please share this video write your comment if you like you can also uh, support me and yeah and i wish you good time bye bye